What's up guys, it's me Sean Raz, Raz with the Unraz, and well, this is more Destiny. I thought I would uh, play a bit more Destiny. Since you guys really did like the commentary on my last gameplay on my other channel, this is now my the only Raz channel. So, yeah. Uh, um, today I'm doing the daily heroic mission for you guys to do, and I've already skipped past this, this beginning part so that... Um, it, it saves time, basically. You don't need to see me traveling to this location. You don't need to see me killing all the enemies. Plus, I got killed once or twice by the knight with the sword at the beginning, which is annoying because I didn't have any ammo to kill it. So, I ended up getting a little bit of ammo to kill that. And basically, this part is just really freaking easy to do. Uh, here is probably where you might get some issues if you don't do it correctly. Like, there is a knight here with a sword, and due to the light switch, which is the um, Heroic modifier. There's the Light Switch modifier and the Heroic modifier. They come in hand in hand with this daily Heroic mission, so... If you get hit once by those knights with the swords, then you are screwed. You're gonna die, you're gonna have to go back to your last checkpoint, and... That's not what you want to do, that's... Mm, sorry, I got hiccups because I've been eating a lot of candy corn that I got for Christmas, but... Yeah, you're gonna get killed by those knights down there really easily, so... I kind of stayed up on this platform because it, it, something about the AI of this thing just doesn't rec just doesn't know how to get up here. It, it can't recognize how to get up here. Like that thing was going up for the steps. But yeah, I did a really dodgy thing there. I should have taken out the ones that were shooting at me first because the knight with the sword wasn't an issue at that time. But I didn't know where he was going when I was shooting at him. I thought he was coming around. So you just gotta gotta think really carefully about this and this part is really easy like you don't have anything with light switch here that will kill you in one hit so just stay by this door and if anything gets too close just run back so I'll just skip that for you but yeah basically stay by the door if anything gets too close you start dying run back into the other room and basically all the enemies locations will reset they'll basically they're, 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 they won't know you're there anymore it's like their AI is basically gone oh enemy's gone okay so we'll reset that's what happens so just go through it slowly take your time don't need to rush ahead this shrieker however is annoying there is a way of getting around these shriekers take it out as quick as possible and it's it's homing mines will come towards you now I didn't run far enough away here but they have self-detonation, and if you run far enough away, they will just blow up by themselves. Like that one there that didn't kill me. If that if that last one did hit me, I would have died, and I would have had I would have respawned because I'm not in the darkness zone. But I would have I would have died basically. Uh, I did waste my rocket launcher there. You don't really need the rocket launcher. And the next three rooms uh, basically have the same principle: kill the shrieker, dodge its mines. Kill the thralls as quick as possible. Uh, so that's this is this is me showing you exactly how to do that. You want to pack them all into groups, and I went up there because I thought I heard regular thrall coming at me, but it turns out it's those ones. What you want to do is when they come at you in swarms, take the one out in the middle. That will kill every one of them on the outside. Like, boom, gone. I don't know why I supercharged there, but uh, it was yeah. Oh, thing about with supercharging with the golden gun, if you're a hunter is you might want to have the perk combustion for your golden gun because it, it takes out large groups of enemies when you shoot them like even if they're not exploding ones like the high thralls but basically if you just watch carefully of how I do this hive in the middle take them out all gone no need to shoot anymore just two bullets uh, yeah this is the same principle again so I'm gonna skip this yeah there you go that was about, uh, that took me, that room there that I just skipped took me about a minute and a half to do, so. Uh, so to, to talk about, uh, talk over this little walking transitional part here. How was you guys' Christmases? Because this is, this is Christmas today. Woo! At the time of recording this, I mean, you might be watching this a couple of days after Christmas, but at the time of recording this, is Christmas, and I'm about to finish up recording this. Uh, then I'm gonna edit it, render it, and then I'm gonna upload it just as I go out for Christmas dinner, so yeah. This is where things start getting a bit difficult, because if you die now, you go back to the checkpoint. So, yeah. You don't wanna die. That was very stupid of me. Don't lunge for the knife, especially if the modifier is on that prevents enemies from flinching from heavy damage, because they won't flinch from getting knifed, they'll just, they'll just hit you back. Really. Uh, so you want to take out these knights because if you take hits from 
If you take a hit from a, a acolyte, you do have a chance to survive. But if the knights hit you, you're dead because uh, they just do it considered like where I got hit and I had some of my health missing, and I was very lucky that he flinched because if he took one more shot, I would have died. Uh, it's a friend from a message. Uh, it's a message from my friend. But yeah, take out enemies. Don't leave any standing because if you need to if you need to run back and you've got enemies standing in the room, you're gonna need to run back further to get away from those enemies, and you you got the bigger chance of dying. So, yeah, this is where I show you the golden gun tactic. So many there's lots of acolytes there, but now there are none left, and I just generated five orbs of light. There's like no enemies left in this room at all after three shots, and I didn't even take out the. Um, I didn't take out the cursed for all either with the uh, golden gun. I shot at the acolytes who had stood next to each other shooting. This acolyte is playing the game of run around with me. But I have none of it. Okay, sorry about that. My stepdad came in, gave me a bit of whiskey. Not whiskey, it's fucking vodka. So yeah. Where was I? What was I saying? Oh yeah, those... Take out every enemy. Don't leave any. Um, in here you've got maybe one or two knights that are going to be causing you a bit of an issue. For example, this one right here. The uh, knight with a sword in this one is a, is a regular chosen knight, so they won't they won't cause you too much damage. Because, um, of course, they're not champions. So I was trying to throw my throwing knife there, I don't know why it, it lunged in the air. Try and if you if you do use a shotgun, which I, for this mission is very stupid that I did, but try and try and hit them in the head because that will that will cause a flinch every time because of the mass amount of damage that that will cause. Yeah, aim for heads as well. Crit crit shots would take out the rules pretty much instantly in one hit with uh, any legendary weapon that's fully upgraded, um, except maybe auto rifles. Auto rifles might take a couple of shots, but. Scout rifles definitely aim for the head. That ogre is not an issue if you stay behind the relic there. If you stay behind that big artifact in the middle, and just somewhat halfway down the stairs that you're poking your head up, that that ogre won't be able to hit you. So Now, this is the room I had the most issues with. When you take all these enemies out, which isn't too hard, you know... These knights here, they, they will probably cause you the most issues, but if you aim for the head enough times, they will flinch, they will stop running towards you, and you have enough time to score more crit shots, and boom, dead. Didn't even get close to me. Lots of fools spawn in this room, but you can take at least two hits, I've noticed, from these things. Unless they're uh, mages or ultras, and then you won't be taking any hits from them. Now, those are a bit more difficult to take out if you don't have um, a solar-based weapon, because their shields are solar shields, and damn do they fucking take a lot of shots of regular ammo, so I thought I'd use my synthesis here on my Galahorn, because it had tracking missiles, it's powerful, and it's like two shots. I was expecting one shot, but I'm, I, there isn't a solar burn or anything on, so... Two shots, that's your lot, and this is when Crota's soul wakes up, and this is the hardest part, and I do die, in fact, I do die, and I do have to go through this room again, so I will skip it in a bit, in a, in a bit, I think it's like a, I think at about ten minutes I skip this, I, I, I pre-recorded this, and there's commentary, it's not live, I'm, I'm not doing this live, it's too hard to focus on something and talk live at the same time, so, yeah, uh, I do skip this in a minute so that uh, you can see the entire Crota fight, but basically your basic principle is don't sit in the same spot for too long because you've got the light, you got the light switch on, so you don't want things running up to you and hitting you because that will just take you out, and you'll be out in one hit. So, thralls, keep them away from you. I did waste my solar here. Uh, solar? Fucking golden gun there, because you do a mass amount of damage to uh, the soul of Crota if you hit him with your supers. Like, I think his, I think I took like a good chunk of his health off, maybe a, a quarter of his health off with one shot from that golden gun, so you can take, it can take a, a good two, three quarters of his health off of just 
two shots. But yeah, there you go. I, I skipped here. This is now the entire fight for the Solar Crota. This is where I do it in one life. Kind of. Not really. I, I've already died like three times doing this entire recording. So... Yeah, this is this is this this is the complete run of the Sword of Crota now, so... I, uh, you might want to... you need to use the cover of the of the stones as often as possible. And you, you want to try and take out these Cursed Thralls, because they will fuck you up if you're in like, one hit. You want to take out the Cursed Thralls and any regular Thralls you see. If you, if the Knights are annoying you a little bit, you take them out too, but try and, try and focus your shots on the Sword of Crota. Hip fire when possible, because then you can see your mini map still, and well, you don't get too many issues with Frule creeping up on you. But I did have to run here because that thing got a bit close. So yeah, the, I, I missed that Frule there because I wasn't keeping. I was trying to pay attention too much to Crota. That's a fatal mistake. Don't do that. Don't pay too much attention to Crota. Don't be too little because you get shot by him and die, or you'll get hit by thralls and die. So. Take all the frauds out, all of them, and one more, there you go, no, no, one more there, okay, and one more there. <laughs> I completely forgot how many frauds I took out there, but take out all the frauds, these knights will get a bit close to you if you're up here, but they're not too hard to take out, a couple of headshots and that'll be it. Uh, I didn't have any hammer ammo left, so ready, watch. Look at how much health I just took off of him there, it was, use your, use your distance the uh, fucking super energies as much as possible like that is key here and once you get your he his health down to this low just fucking focus your entire attention on him because you will see his health just fall and that's it that's the end of him now you just need to sub make sure you don't die until the the darkness wears off which just happened now so I got really fucking panicky there because that thing got a bit too close but yeah that's that's the entire daily heroic mission everybody that is the heroic mission done you've now got ascendant energies you've got your helium filaments and you've got your uh, engram so yeah so yeah it's not too hard of a mission this one um, I did it solo by myself anyway but uh, it can become it can become overwhelming if you don't use the right spots and you aren't using the correct weapons. So make sure you're using your powerful weapons. I would have at least one solar energy weapon. Yeah, that that would be my that would be my suggestion. So thank you guys for watching. Please smash that like like button if you enjoyed. Click the crap out of subscribe and join the Razz Army. And remember, keep calm and razzle dazzle on.